Hey, what's up, everyone? Yesterday, YouTube announced that they're now going to start showing previews of live streams in the shorts feed as long as you're using vertical video. So today I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio to stream vertical video to YouTube. And if you are so inclined, I'm going to show you how you can stream vertical and horizontal video at the same time. So let's get started. Okay, so what the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have your OBS Studio updated to version 29 or later. Once you do that, we're going to download this Atom Vertical plugin, which I'll leave a link for in the description. So once you go to this site, you can go to download. And then once you get here, you can download the version applicable to your OS. And once it's downloaded, make sure OBS is closed and just install the software quick, and then we can get started. So now when you open OBS, your screen is going to look like this. You're going to have everything you had before, but on the right, you're going to have this vertical panel, the vertical scene transition, the vertical scene, and the vertical sources. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to sync this with your YouTube stream. So click this settings button right here. Now on the general tab, you want your resolution to be 1080 by 1920. And for your audio bitrate, you can use uh, whatever you want. I want 320. Um, because I think 320 is the best, but you can use whatever works for you. Do some testing. 192 might work, but 320 is standard and doesn't cause any issues. Now, backtrack can be used for clipping, but I use the uh, replay buffer, so I don't have backtrack on, but you can view the guide here if you're so inclined to do that. Now, on the streaming tab here, this is where you can set your different outputs. So some of you may already have this add-on for streaming to TikTok. And what you're going to do is if you have TikTok, just click this add so that you can add another window here and then title it whatever you want, YouTube Shorts. And for the server and the key here, we're going to go over to YouTube. Just go to youtube.com and then up here, click create, go live. Now, before you go live, here's where you're going to want to edit all of your stream information, such as the title, the description, and all of your settings. But down here, uh, you can go to select where it says select stream key, click and just make you can you just use the default stream key. That's what I'm doing. You're going to need to copy this stream key right here and this stream URL. So what you want to do is just click copy so that you copy it exactly. Go into OBS paste the key right in the key section and then copy and paste the server in the server section and then you're good to go there. Now down in video bitrate here, 6K is pretty standard. You shouldn't need any more than that, but I think with YouTube you might be able to go up to 8K, but 6 works just fine. If you're having network issues, maybe drop it a little bit. And then in advanced, this is where you control which audio track you're using and video encoders and stuff. It's easy to just use the main OBS settings, then nothing gets distracted. Everything should be as is with your normal stream. Now on the recording tab, if you want to record your vertical video, you would set your path and the bit rate here and any hotkeys that you might want to use. But I'm not going to record that, so we're not going to go over that right now. Okay, and once that's set up, uh, what you're going to do is you have your vertical scene transition here. So you can choose the cut or fade that they have by standard. But what you can also do is if you click the plus here, you can copy from the main. So I have this glitch pro transition on my mainstream. So if I just copy this, it will bring it right over here. And now I have this transition here as well. So you have your vertical scenes and vertical sources the same way you have your scenes and sources for your standard stream. Uh, you create your new one. So what I did is I created my starting stream and I already had a source in here for this. All of your sources you can use left over from your mainstream. You don't have to create any new sources that are already there good to go. So I just added my starting screen source, my glitch pro start. I uh, right clicked on it, went to transform and I stretched it to the screen and then I or I fit it to the screen and then stretched it out wide to make it kind of fit in there. And then after that, you want to create your live scene. So what I did over here is I added my Logitech stream cam because that is what I use on my standard streams. Um, we can actually get rid of this preview here. So I added my Logitech stream cam because that's already available. I already have the source set up. It's a lot easier. No need to recreate it, like I said. And then I added my border here. Once you add the source here, you can kind of play around with the location of it, you can move it around, get it to where you want it on the vertical. And then the best thing to do is just lock it in place so you don't accidentally move anything. And then after that, um, I was playing Call of Duty ranked, so I wanted a ranked overlay on here. So you can, I added just added my browser source that you have 
already existing, place it where you want it. There we go, right underneath. And then um, make sure you also have all your audio because if you don't have your microphone and your other audio mixer settings that you might use, uh, people might not hear you on your stream. So you definitely wanna make sure you have all of your audio. And now what we're gonna do is add our game capture. So for me, I already have the game capture existing on my regular one, add it. Then first of all, I wanna put it at the bottom. Oh, wait a minute here. Yeah, I wanna put it at the bottom. And then uh, because you're gonna be vertical video, you're obviously not gonna be able to get the whole screen. So what I personally did, and then what I did was I went to transform and I went to center it horizontally. And then what that'll do is put the middle of it right in your screen. And then I just tried to keep it roughly in the middle, slide it down to the bottom, and then we'll stretch it just to be about the right size. And then we can right click on it again, transform and center it horizontally. There we go. So now it's right in the middle. The size looks good. We will lock it in place. And just like that, we now have our vertical video. So you may be eligible to show up in the shorts feed where people can get to you quite easily. Now, if you would like to stream vertically and horizontally to YouTube at the same time, that is possible. It's gonna treat it like two separate live streams on your channel. They will both show up independent of each other. But if you would like to do that, what you can do is go to your settings in OBS and make sure that your stream service here is set to YouTube because then, um, and you might want to use a different RTMP server than your other one just to make sure there's no overlap. So you can choose different servers and the different key for each one just so that you know they're separate. And then once you have that there um, and that's all set up, you can hit start streaming, which will be your landscape video. And then you can go over to here. This is how to start streaming your vertical video. And this is how to start recording. But if you hit start streaming here, your vertical will go live and your horizontal will be live. Or if you log in and you multi-stream already, so like I do, I log into OBS with Twitch and then I have YouTube over here for a, a horizontal multi-stream. So what I could do now is I hit start streaming, which will activate my Twitch stream. And then I click start here, which will activate my YouTube widescreen video. And then I would click start here, which will activate my YouTube vertical video stream. And if you have any, uh, if you want any help setting up the multi-stream for your horizontal videos, I have another one you can check in the description for a tutorial on how to set that up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps. Good luck and let me know how it goes.